Welcome back, boys and girls. Alan of Riverwood here, back with more freaking Skyrim. You guessed it? Yes, I've missed it. Today we're joining the Dawn Guard. Now, I was thinking of joining the Thieves Guild, but a friend of mine told me to go outside of my comfort zone a little bit more and join the Dawn Guard. And so, I took his advice. Here we are, Day Spring Canyon. Just making my way down the hill right now. I'm going to go ahead and throw this bad boy back on. That green flash, if you're wondering, every time I throw that hood on, it's just a perk in the light armor skill tree. Quite simple, it lets me uh, have the ability to make my armor weigh nothing. So, pretty rad. That's cool. I think once the Game of the Year edition drops, I think this will be a really cool place to fish. You can actually see the salmon swimming in the water. Pretty rad stuff. Dayspring Canyon is actually a really good place, I feel like, to have a hideout. If I was in a cult dedicated to the killing of vampires. So, not a bad place. There's wild game. Look at that rabbit. That's pretty cool. This guy, of course, Duroc. He's kind of the one that walks around city to city inviting you to join the Dawn Guard until you're, well, here. It's kind of a big canyon too, you know? And if you look outside the map in this area, um, you actually can't walk up this far. Um, so it's kind of cool. I, I always wondered why this spot on the map was here, because you can move your cursor over a wide range here. Um, now that's true of some other places too, but like here for example, like down here in this area. Always curious about what the code was there for. I wonder if they meant to do a DLC or expansion pack, if you will. We'll never know. Maybe that information's out there. If you know, maybe drop it in the comments. I know um, this DLC was actually probably one of the better ones. I think it made it so that you could have dragon bone armor, which is pretty rad. Now that could have been the Dragonborn too. I don't know. Sometimes I get those mixed up because I got them both about the same time anyway. But without further ado, let's join the Dawn Guard. Here to join the Dawn Guard? Good. Isran will decide if you've got what it takes. Go. Um, you guys let me know how you want me to proceed with this too. Do you want like just a few videos with like start to finish, or do you want like a mini series out of the Dawn Guard? Um, I'm gonna be kind of tied up over the next couple weeks. We're trying to get our landlord to sort out with us our our new lease. We're not sure if we're gonna have to move. Um, got some crazy news recently too. So anyway, not worth the expense and manpower. And now that you've stirred up the vampires against you, you come begging for my protection. Isra, Garset is dead. The Hall of the Vigilance, everyone, they're all dead. You were right, we were wrong. Isn't that enough for you? Yes, well, I never wanted any of this to happen. I tried to warn all of you. I am sorry, you know. So who are you? What do you want? Here to join the Dawn Guard. I've heard you're looking for vampire hunters. I'm just looking around. What is this place? Yeah, probably this. You heard right. I'm glad word's finally starting to get around. But that means it won't be long before the vampires start to take notice as well. Um, what can I do to help? I need someone out in the field taking the fight to the damn vampires. While we're getting the fort back into shape. Tolan was telling me about some cave the Vigilants were poking around in. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Tolan, tell him about, what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. Dim Hollow Crypt. Brother Adelwald was sure it held some long-lost vampire artifact of some kind. We didn't huh. listen to him any more than we did Isra. He was a 
was at the hall when it was attacked. That's good enough for me. Go see what the vampires were looking for in this dim hollow crypt. With any luck, they'll still be there. Here, you should take a crossbow. Good for taking. Oh, out that's those right. Before they get close. Let's go. Feel free to crossbow, the baby. Need. There isn't much yet. Okay, so I used to use a crossbow kind of a lot, actually. 35 damage, 14 pounds. Let's get a closer look. Pretty red. You like, it's kind of funny, but you basically you pull the top handle and it would bring the, I guess the bow string back over this little like latch in the center right here. And then you'd use that trigger right back here. When you decompress that, it would drop the action lifting the latch, releasing the bowstring and firing the arrow. It's kind of a, <laughs> a weird design because I don't think, I mean, it, I mean, when you think about it, the string should be over the handle so that as you lift the handle, it goes back into the latch. Anyway, I don't know. Super red weapon, Welcome to pretty high damage. Use. The only crappy thing is, is bolts are really hard to come by unless you know where to look. So, my fallen comrades. Tolan, I don't think that's a good idea. You vigilants were never trained. I know what you think of us. You think we're soft, that we're cowards. You think our deaths proved our weakness. Stendar granted you Ooh, do not have to face the same test. That's pretty rad. Huh. I'm going to Dim Hollow Crypt. Perhaps I can be of some small assistance to you. You there, boy. Stop skulking in the shadows and step up here. What's your name? I, I'm, uh... My name is Agnir, sir. Agnir. Do I look like a sir to you? I'm not a soldier, and you're not joining the army. Yes, sir. E Isra. What can I tell you? Well... Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and head over to Dim Hollow Crypt and see what what sort of mischief we can get into there. When you're probably asking yourself, you know, like, why is a werewolf joining a cult to go kill vampires? Um, but yeah, again, it just goes back to my buddy. He invited me to play Dawn Guard and switch it up a little bit. But, uh, yeah. It's, uh... I've done it before, obviously. It's been a, a while since I've done it. I remember it being, like, extremely extensive and taking a long time. So, it's not something I could probably crush out in, like, a few hours. Whereas, like, you know, the companions, I could probably crush that out in, like, four hours of gameplay, maybe five hours of gameplay if I'm, like, really focused on just getting things done. But... Here is the, what was, rather, like, the Hall of Vigilance. Now, obviously, they were all brutally murdered, as explained earlier. Go ahead and take some of this stuff. Sure. Um, but yeah, vampires came and destroyed the whole place. Kind of based on what he was explaining. Here's a death hound. I think I'm gonna try to keep the collar from every death hound I kill, if if they have one. Sometimes you kill them and they don't always have one, but usually they do. Um, only reason for that is like there's not a good way to tally up how many death hounds you kill along the way. Um, I just feel like it's a neat way to keep track of like how many death hounds you encounter during this whole series. Oh, that was really weird. He was like following me. Still is kind of. What the heck, dude? Get out of here. That was really weird. I don't think I've ever seen that animation before. And I've been playing for 10 years. So, the beginning is kind of confusing, right? So, Isran sends you to Dim Hollow Crypt where there was rumored to be vampire activity and that they're here looking for something. And so 
we'll get in there and figure out what they're looking for. Straight up here. Now, I'm kind of torn because obviously I desperately want to use the crossbow. But if I'm to follow the theme of two-handed weapons, I guess um, that would dictate me continuing to use well, a two-handed weapon. Never know when to give up. I thought we'd taught them enough of a lesson at their hall. Maybe I'll do a combination of both. Here alone, a fool like all the rest of them. He fought well there. Jet on and press off with like their match for him. Ha! Those two deserved what they got. Their arrogance had become insufferable. All this talk. Okay, so I think that took him out. He's full dead, I believe. There's Death Hound left and one more vampire. Let's see if I can. Nope, I missed. I should have shot as soon as I got my cursor on him. Right, like that. How did I miss that, dude? What in the world? There's like a gnarly curve or drop in the in the bolts right now. It's kind of bumming me out. Right here. Got him. I knew I smelled more blood. Oh, don't go invisible. Damn it. I can like almost barely see you. There you go. That was pretty dope. So I mean I'm gonna be crippled in the beginning for a while at least as far as the crossbow is concerned but I mean if I can get close to the two-handed sword might as well just do that ah lever there we go Some potions because uh, why not? I feel like normally I would take the approach of like sneak and like archery for this mission type, but it almost seems like they want you to go like balls to the wall, all in. What the skeletor? The good thing too is I can't contract Sanguine Vampiri, which is the vampire virus, the disease that turns you into a vampire. Reason being is because obviously I'm a werewolf, so no matter what they do to me, they can't infect me. Whoa. This is a pretty cool scene. It's definitely spooky season type stuff. Wow. That was actually pretty decent loot. Oh, I think I'm meant to go this way. Nope, that's nothing. This way. Here we go. Oh, fantastic. Someone's got some shouts. Wow, nice strike, but like nothing to that guy. Wow. One strike. I don't know that we sh Oh, wait a second. I think I... I think I have one of these. I am, I am like collecting the others though, so. I'll probably collect the vampire dust for the sake of potions later, but the goal for me would be to cast a spell of illusion to be invisible. That way I would remove the weight value. Oh, that's a pretty cool scene, dude. Look at that. 
That's pretty dope. I feel like that cinematic scene alone would be worth joining the Don Guard. Whoa, holy crap, okay. okay let's see if I can close some distance on her. That bad feeling. Oh, she almost got me. Got you. Look at that. Oof. Hello? Who's there? What's the hurry? What? That was really weird. I think it was because I like hit her while running before I executed the like strike and that's why she said w what's the hurry so it's kind of funny because obviously she, she was dead ow 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 I'm just trying to get this iron bro chill jeez he did take a lot of health spiders Wow, I got like four of those ice spikes in my chest. I feel like this is normally when I would like heal myself, but maybe, maybe I'll be okay. Sorry about all the urns and stuff. I just want to plug the loot. That way you guys know. What all's available? Did I ever check this chest? No. Okay. This this is also like really just visually stunning the way they did this whole opening to the quest the quest line. Oh, car master vampire. Oh, dude. Another death hound. Let's see. Interesting. I thought a vampire hunter would, or a vampire master vampire would be a little more effective, but I guess not. So. I'll never tell you anything, vampire. My oath to Stendar is stronger than any suffering you can inflict on me. Oh, this does. I believe you. Oh. Oh. That sucks. Is there not a way for me to let myself back in? Why did I lock myself out? Huh. And also, that was our friend down there. That was back. Oh my gosh, okay. Let him come to you, I guess. Boom. Steel Warhammer. Not a bad choice. I'm trying to stick by the light. That way you guys have a better chance of seeing O'Keel. Okay, how's it going? With like the glowing eyes as it was like falling away. You gotta admit, that was pretty dope. Okay. This poor dude, man. What's in the book? Huh. There's volumes on this crypt? Maybe I should keep it. It'd be cool to collect those and read those too. So, this part's like really confusing, okay? Basically, you put your hand on here, right? Ah! 
pretty sure that would break the bones in your hand. Now, this part I always thought was weird, but basically what I would do is I would just like move these to like the end of like what made sense, right? So like this guy for example, I'd probably move... Oh, no I had it right. Go, go back. To there. And this guy, I'd probably move... This guy back here should probably be up there, right? Like, it almost doesn't even really make sense to me, but then, like, this guy, right? It, like, glows big. I wish I could see what it was making up above. And it, it's basically, like, a puzzle that unlocks this. So you come up to here. Mysterious woman. Which is obviously carrying an Elder Scroll on her back. Varys, who sent you here? Um, who were you expecting? I was expecting someone like me, at least. What do you mean, like uh, you? Can't you tell just from looking at me? A vampire. The Dawn Guard will want me to kill you. Why were you locked away like this? That's complicated. And I'm not totally sure if I can trust you. But if you want to know the whole story, help me get back to my family's home. <laughs> um, where do you need to go? My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. Your guess is as good as mine. This place looks pretty different from when I was locked away. Huh. Is that an Elder Scroll? Yes, it is. And it's mine. Fair enough. It's... complicated. I can't really talk about it. I'm sorry. Okay. So, with Serana, who is this mysterious woman, back with you, it's time to fight some gargoyles. Take that, gargoyle. Ooh, did you see that block? Whoa, what is happening? What? Okay, that was pretty dope. If that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does, because that was pretty damn good. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about that. Whoa. Um, it's so dark in here. Maybe it's time for a torch? You guys are probably like, I can't see anything. Torch. There we go. And then in my right hand, maybe I'll go... I don't really have a lot of choices, do I? I'll go Elven Sword. Okay, so let's hop down here. Yeah, I always thought that this part was kind of weird, because it's like... You're, you're almost like fumbling through the dark, like it wasn't really like clear how to get out. And then you just like fight a bunch of dead stuff on the way through. The gargoyles is a nice touch, I will admit. But um... I don't know why, I always thought it was weird that it was gargoyles and not something else. But uh... Either way, I think it's a good touch. Wow, that was like nothing, dude. Oh my gosh. If I don't... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to switch back, guys. Sorry. Got him. Oh, 
there's another one. Nicely done. Yeah. You, you basically just fumble through the dark with all this, and it's kind of confusing, honestly, but... Um, like, this part especially is kind of cool. It's just a lot. Like, honestly, if you weren't leveled up, I don't know how you do with all this, because it's a... Uh, it's like a whole cathedral, you're like a gladiator almost, and all this. Come on, dude. Death Jogger Overlord. Got him. Freaking skeleton. Skeletons, while they don't make much contribution in damage, um, if you ignore them to fight another enemy, and they just kind of whittle away at your health, eventually it's a pretty significant difference, so take them out while you can. Some pretty good looting here, dude. Oh, I forgot there's a shout somewhere. I think it's down here. Where's, where, where's the, it's so dark. There it is. Holy cow. Okay. That's one thing that's cool about having Dawnstar, the sword Dawnstar, is because it like emits some sort of light. Which I feel like would be pretty dope to have in a situation like this. Okay. Well, with Serana and the other scroll, we need to head back to Solitude area. It's kind of funny because it's like a castle slash like island hidden out like in the icebergs and total cold. Which I, which I imagine would be a lot like Antarctica or really anywhere in the Arctic um, it's like way up here way up here so probably just best to fast travel to like here-ish and from there go on foot it takes a little while to get there there's not a lot I think there's like some ice wraiths and some bears, maybe a couple of ice wolves. But um, besides that, nothing too crazy. Could you imagine though, trying to like do this all this stuff and then okay. a dragon just swoops down and tries to kill you in the middle of all of it? Be miserable is all I'm saying. There's not like a good way to get to that stone, is there? I was gonna try and do it real quick, but. It's not gonna happen. Clairvoyance. And what I'll probably do, guys, is like while I'm on my way there, I'll probably just cast some illusion spells. Um. Well, the lighting is kind of weird because of the, the color of the snow. I can't see the spell. There it is. Okay. Oh, that's why I have the map marker still up. I can take that off. There we go. Now let's cast that spell. Cool. Let's get back to the road. Yeah, one thing about illusion guys is it's like a really good doorway into getting prick points. Because you can level up. The only issue is, is the more you level up, in theory at least, the more difficult your opponents become. So if you're two-handed or whatever your, let's say it's archery or one-handed. If you're like super high level, but the way you defend yourself is not leveled up, it could present quite the issue for yourself. So ideally, you want to level that up as well. And along the way, we might as well try to level up. It's gonna be a lot, I think, to try to level up archery in addition to trying to level up my two-handed, while trying to level up my s stealth and illusion. It's just gonna be a lot. So, 
But the best way is just to use that stuff. Like, you know, it takes a while to travel, obviously, sometimes, so if on the way you have an opportunity to level that stuff up or use that stuff, just use it, you know, pick some flowers, eat the flowers if you've never had them yet, um, find out what they do, try to craft some potions with them, it all kind of feeds back into itself later, so it's a friendly tip. Oh, I also wanted you guys to be able to have access to mods that I use. So I'll make sure to eventually get a list up of all the mods I use. That way you guys Who's there? have a better idea. Knew I heard that. Look at that guy. Oh, wow. I do like that you can like... I don't know. It feels a lot more user friendly in my opinion to use the crossbow. I just wish you could like draw them faster, you know? Like it takes a little while to reload. These trolls, dude. They ate bolts. So many bolts. I only have 46 now, I think. And for a while at least, you can't really make your own bolts, I believe, until uh until you get instructed on how to do it. But even then, it just seems a bit expensive. Sometimes you have to like take a couple days like in game and just travel around like collecting um cross bolts. Just go everywhere you can and buy them. Oh. Which, huh? Oh, let's get some fire salts, shall we? Cool. But uh, I think the reality is, is the more, the more interactions you have with like your desired, whether it's archery, you know single-handed, two-handed, the more interactions you have with that stuff, that stuff will just eventually like build up. And there's, I can show you guys, there's this thing called like boosting, where, I don't know, to me it feels too much like cheating. Almost like every time I do it, I end up like starting a new game, because it just feels like cheating, I guess. But like, you could rubber band your block onto your remote, and, you know, stumble across a wolf back yourself up to a wall and make it so that he just keeps attacking you. Oh, what the heck? Oh, what the heck? Is that Focus? Yo, Focus. May the gods watch. What was that? What is he doing here? Take care of that? Where are you going? I wouldn't have expected someone like you to be the harbinger. But Codlack trusted your judgment. And so will I. Huh. Looks like you got someone already. It's so Interesting. bright out here. I don't know how you stand. I don't think I've ever... I mean, we're way out here. Huh. I've never seen Vilkis traveling the road, like, at random. He, he has a companion with him, too, so... It's just strange, I don't know. Anyway, boosting. You could, for example, like get a decent shield, back yourself up to a, like a corner, or obviously they can't do better damage, and you just rubber band like your block button down and allow, like say a mud crab even, to just go ham. You know, like you obviously want to make sure you don't lose too much health, so now and again you want to check to make sure your health isn't getting too low. Um, if you don't have a, mm, I'd say either a ring or like a necklace of regenerate health, it can be kind of tricky to uh, to live long enough to get the effects you wanted. I'm gonna try and hump the way down this hill. I do want to check out that cave. I just don't think that's my way down right now. 
I do want to go close enough to this fort to discover it, but I don't want to attract too much attention. Another one bites the dust. Oh crap. So let's see if I can... Okay, cool. I don't wanna, there's like a lot of people in there, if I remember correctly. So I don't wanna get too close. But also, how is it, right? How? How can you miss that giant castle in the middle of the lake like right here isn't like cold cold, right? Like out there obviously is, but like right here, this isn't bad. Like this is totally a place that you could see people traveling to, you know? To me it doesn't make sense. Like how could you not visibly see that giant castle out there in the lake? Anyway, from here, you fast travel to the castle where you get stopped at the front gate um, let's see. The guard at the front gate realizes it's Serana and turns That's around it. and starts announcing her. We used to keep a boat around here to get there and back. Oh, what is it? Um, let's just get up there. It's a pretty dope castle, though, you know. I thought at first these gargoyles were gonna like turn and attack me. Super glad they didn't. Oh wait, I think she means. Okay, so before we go in there, I wanted to thank you for getting me this far. But after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. Wow. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Lady Serana's back! Open the gate! This dude is not a vampire. Lady Serana. He's totally human. Which makes you wonder, how does he know that it's Lady Serana? Because she's been locked away for like... I don't know, a couple hundred years maybe? I can't remember how long exactly, but a long time. So. This to me was like, probably one of the more challenging okay, moments. Trespass here. Wait, Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. He's definitely a vampire. My lord, everyone, Serana has returned. This part's expected. trippy. I can't Dude, believe it. Look at this. They're just like feeding on people. My long lost daughter returns at last. So trippy. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. <gasps> I've never seen this potion, and I'm taking it. see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? I'm Alan of Riverwood. Who are you? I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. Your vampires, your uh, reclusive cannibal cult. I don't really care what you are. Perhaps you should. I count some of the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim among the members of my court. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. 
Do I get a reward for finding your daughter? What happens now? You have done me a great service, and now you must be rewarded. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again. Pretty tempting. I'm a werewolf. What will happen if I accept your gift? Yes, I can smell it on you. <laughs> the power of my blood will purge that filth and to make you whole again. Wow. And if I want to remain a werewolf... I will banish you from this castle. I will spare your life this once, but after that, you are prey. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! That was dope. That I offer. Now, make your choice. I will accept your gift and become a vampire. I don't want to become a vampire. I refuse your gift. This is tempting, because, like, I think being a vampire would have some perks, but I think, for the sake of the, the role play that I'm going with, I think I'm going to continue being a werewolf. So be it. You are prey, like all mortals. I banish you. Wow. Well guys, this is the start of something new. And it uh it feels so right to be with you. I'm just kidding. No, this is not a high school musical, but thank you for joining me on today's video. Um it means a lot to me. I love playing Skyrim. I'm going to continue playing Skyrim. And I'm gonna freaking dig deep into this uh, Dawn Guard mission here. Um, I think I'm going to be a werewolf for a long time. I think I like the idea of being a werewolf and I don't know. I just, uh, I think it jives well with the whole persona that this character has become and I dig it. It's the only thing keeping me from deleting and starting a new game which can be also exciting and fun but for now this is how it's going to go. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Until next time, don't get your blood sucked by a vampire.